hey guys welcome back to our channel today we're making a slow cooked pork bowl please remember to like and subscribe and we're gonna get right into the video all right now here are our spices that we're using for the pork uh, please note we are using cocoa powder because chili powder and cocoa powder do pair well together right and a recipe with the exact measurements will be down below in the description so don't worry about exact measurements here so we're just gonna put everything in here in this bowl and just mix it up and uh, we are cooking pork today, but you can obviously use this uh, spice mixture for skirt steak, short ribs, or chicken if you are using it in uh, Mexican applications such as tacos or taco bowls or nachos or anything of that nature. Right. So here Gerald is just grinding in some black pepper. And uh, the black pepper took a while, guys. We didn't have any uh, fresh grown pepper, so... We had to grind it ourselves. Yep. Yeah. Okay, so we're gonna just give that a nice mix and make sure all of the spices and everything are blended, blended well. Okay. Okay, and now here's our pork shoulder. This is about a five pound pork shoulder. And we're just salting it right here because it's a big piece of meat. And we also did cut it just for uh, time's sake. We do want it to cook a little bit quicker. Right, and don't worry about adding too much salt. It's a big piece of meat, like Gerald said. Uh, so you're gonna need quite a bit. And here we are just adding a little bit of peanut oil to the spice mixture. And uh, we get it to like a paste. Yeah, we pretty much wanna make this a paste so it can spread on easily, um, as opposed to a rub. Um, yeah. So this isn't very pretty guys, but Gerald is just going in and smearing it on, <laughs> smearing in the, the rub that we made here um, and making sure every single part of the pork is coated evenly with it. Yeah, and you can do this up to 24 hours in advance if you want to let it sit and marinate. But again, for time, we didn't have it, so we just pretty much rubbed it and then put it in the pan. Mm -hmm. But you can definitely marinate this and it'll be so much more flavorful. And obviously, if you can get gloves, get gloves for this. <laughs> but It's quite messy. It's super hard to get gloves now, as you, I'm sure everyone is aware of. So we just use our hands, which are the best tools in the kitchen. Right. <laughs> so we're just gonna make sure we coat all of this. All right, so we're just gonna preheat our um, Dutch oven on medium-high heat and then add a little bit of oil. We don't need too much because there's quite a bit of fat on the pork itself and then also there is some oil in the paste. Yep, and you just wanna place your pork fat side down and just let it get brown. We're just looking for a little bit of color here. We're gonna cook it, um, fully cook it in the oven. Yeah, so you pretty much wanna let these go for about five to 10 minutes on each side, depending on the size of your pork. Mm -hmm. And then once it's ready to get in the oven, it's gonna look nice and brown like this. And what we're gonna do here, just trust this again, we're gonna deglaze the pan with some orange juice. Don't worry, it won't taste orangey, it won't taste sweet. Orange and citrus in general pairs really well with pork. And also, um, it just is gonna add a nice flavor. So we added about three cups of orange juice. Um, you wanna make sure you're using pulp-free orange juice, 100% oh yeah. orange juice. Mm -hmm. uh, none of that artificial stuff, guys. Right. So here we are just preparing our beans. Once you wash them, you wanna cover them with water and you want them to soak overnight. Um, so that's what we're doing here. And here we are making the guacamole. Um, we just took two avocados and mashed them and we added some fresh lime juice, some salt, and some pepper. Um, this is a pretty simple uh, guacamole. We didn't add any cilantro or red onion because 
it's just a topper and then we also are going to include some cilantro in our rice later mm -hmm. so we don't want this to be extremely flavorful we just want it to be a nice avocado element to the bowl right and you just give that a good mix mm -hmm. and that's it put that to the side and if you're going to make this the night before get some plastic wrap and just cover it put the plastic wrap directly on the avocado and pop it in the fridge now, uh, this is what our meat looks like once it's done cooking. It's in the oven for three hours. So what we're going to do is we're going to take the meat out, obviously, and we're also going to just put that beautiful sauce we have here to the side. And here we are rinsing our beans, getting ready to cook them. Um, so beans, just regular bean recipe. We added onions. Some aromatics, some garlic, some onion, and some bay leaf. Mm -hmm. And we added also, we added a bouillon cube. So it was very kind of neutral flavor, but... This is what our beans look like once they're cooked. And this is about an hour and a half of cooking until they're nice and tender. Mm -hmm. so, so now we shredded up the pork and we're going to get ready to cook. Just kind of, you know, foot finish cooking it here. We're going to heat up the pork to kind of render out some of the fat that's in it. And then we're going to actually add that cooking liquid. We did uh, skim off the fat from it once it's solidified. And then we also drained it as well to make sure there weren't any particles or anything in it. It's a nice smooth pork stock that's pretty much based with that seasoning and then also the orange juice. Mm -hmm. And you don't need to add any more seasoning here. Everything that you need is in that sauce. What we're going to do now is just let it cook and reduce down a little bit um, until it's a really, really nice consistency and texture. So after a few minutes, it's gonna look like this. Perfect. And that's when you know it's done and you're ready to start putting your bowls together. But first we have to make the cilantro lime rice. So we're just gonna chop up some cilantro pretty finely. Um, give it a nice mince, and then we're gonna add it to our jasmine rice that we used here. You can use basmati, you can use whatever type of white rice you like to use, or you can even use brown rice if you wanna be healthy. Right, <laughs> and we just put in a little bit of lime juice and we're gonna give it a good mix. Also very neutral on the flavor here. The meat is most of the, the seasoning, so it's pretty simple. And uh, here's our final product. So we layered the rice, the beans, and the pork together, and we topped it with cotilla cheese, some avocado, and then sour cream. Yep, thank you guys for watching. These bowls are incredible. Make sure to leave a like, comment, and subscribe, and let us know how your bowls turned out. Take care. See you in the next one.